Alright, this is an early revision, and this is when I say early revision, it's got the fuse here, so it's among the very earliest of the Wurlitzer boards, and it's not working right at all. And we want you to know that some of the things we found in here is the carbon comp composition resistors are nowhere as near where they're supposed to be. Now, you understand that if I bridge them with a meter, uh, this one's supposed to read 8.2 mega ohms, and uh, it's actually reading 30 mega ohms. So it is nowhere as near the ballpark. And this is going to cause all sorts of hum, static, and distortion problems for you. And this one here is supposed to be 22 mega ohms. By the way, it's no longer made, and it's now 29 mega ohms. Alright, so therefore, uh, we're going to replace this one with two 10s, and this is with an 8.2. You can still get the 8.2, but here's an example. This one's 56k ohms, and um, when we're measuring, and by the way, on some cases, the if you have something else across the resistor, like a uh, transistor or a diode, uh, it's possible to affect the reading slightly, uh, but the reading is slightly less than what the resistor reads. This one reads 73.5k ohms, and it was supposed to be 56k. Uh, its maximum would be another 5, another 5.6k on top of the 56, but 73 is way out of the ballpark. And we didn't had some problems with the 15 volt regulator. This is a 330 ohm resistor that was pulled out, and it reads 493. And um, we had problems with the preamp. This is a thousand ohm resistor in the preamp, and it read 1620. It should not have read any higher than 1100. And for example, here's a 15k resistor, reads 19.95k, and the most it should have read was about 16 and a half K. Uh, here's a 22 K resistor. It was involved with the first operating stage is 27 K. Now most of these things will just give you a hard time and, 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 and quite frankly the board will not operate properly. Yet you can find that say for example in the power in, power stage this 2.7 ohm resistor reached 2.8 and after all these years is in good shape. The ones you want to watch out for are these carbon composition resistors because they break down internally uh, when they are um, much older. And this, this board's got to be a good 40 years old. Here's one that's really important. It's a 10 ohm resistor. It's used in the, uh, in the power amplifier to adjust the bias and uh, it reads 20 ohms. That's double the value it's supposed to be. And um, this is an example of, of what can happen to these things. Um, you know, not only do the capacitors change in age with value, um, but the, uh, the, the basic resistors themselves are no longer accurate. Uh, this one here is supposed to be 68K. Uh, it can't be any more than about 7K above that. So 68 and 7 is 75, and it's at the borderline. It should be much closer to 68. We want you to know the first stage won't operate properly, and if it does, uh, you will not only get more distortion, but the output level will be lower. And uh, some of the other ones are missing. On this particular board, uh, there's normally, normally on the later boards, there would be a third capacitor. I'll show you a later board. There's a 0.33 here, a 0.33 here, and a 0.33 here. Uh, there's also a 560K resistor, uh, which is sitting right there by my finger. Uh, and then it goes into the rebar area. Um, while this is missing in this particular earlier ver version, and one of the things that's going to happen is, as you uh, try to measure the rebar voltage between here and ground, uh, it's not going to come up to 135 volts. It's going to, uh, and that's with a 10 mega ohm impedance meter. Um, you're going to find it might might break 89. 
and you're going to find that the reason for that is they used a 10 mega ohm resistor in here. Of course, you know, half the time the 10 mega ohm resistor is no longer 10, it's closer to 15 or 20. And so therefore you're going to find the rebar voltage is low. Um, you can correct this problem by putting in a 560K, a 1 meg resistor tied to a 560K. The 560K goes toward the reed bar and the 0.33 to ground. We'll show you the modification on another board uh, when we have one in.